mama gang. Cause we always hit a nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. Um, quick updates, quick news. Um, about to drop it on y'all pretty fast. You know, let's keep the headlines moving. So um, before we do so, guys, hit the like button. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. Um, Miami quarterback prospect will be um, visiting on Monday. This is a guy out of Texas by the name of Marcos Davila. Now, Davila was recently committed to TCU, which he just decommitted. We'll be visiting Miami Monday and also sometime down in March. Now, he's 6'3", 217 pounds. And also, he's the 20, 21st quarterback um, rated in the 247 um, you know, system and also the 50th player in the state of Texas. So this is a huge um, upside, a huge guy, a tall guy uh, for the Miami Hurricanes. Also, um, he's listed as a three-star. Um, with this going into this season, he could possibly, you know, move up. He is a highly rated three-star. Also, guys, interviewing for the Miami Hurricanes wide receiver coaching position. A few names has popped up, and I kind of want to hear what you guys think about it. But the one we're going to focus on, because we do know for a fact that he did get an interview with Mario, that would be a former Miami Hurricane wide receiver himself, um, Leonard Hankerson. Now, I did mention Leonard Hankerson maybe a month ago to you guys, or maybe a little bit less than a month ago to you guys. So what are you guys' thoughts on Leonard Hankerson? Also, I do think that the Kevin Beard situation would be pretty much over with. Not quite sure if he would... Um, you know, still be of a, a, a interest to the Miami Hurricanes. Um, James Coley name, of course, it has been mentioned a couple of times, but I do believe that James Coley's only um, interest in the OC job, which that has already been fulfilled. Also, three names that you probably would be interested, um, Taekwon Underwood, um, Lenny Galloway, and T. Martin, of course. Um, let me know if any of those candidates, other than Leonard Hankerson, would, you know, appease you guys also guys there's a huge rumor in the air huge rumor now keyword in this one is rumor there's no factual evidence behind it or anything has came out but um josh pate josh pate of 247 sports has mentioned this on two or three two or three occasions and i kind of want to bring it to you guys and see what your thoughts and opinions on it the miami hurricanes to the big 10 the big 10 now, as you guys know, in college football, there is a lot of realignment going on. You see USC, UCLA has joined the Big Ten. Yeah, right across California, all the way up to, you know, north of America on the east side. Don't make sense, right? But it is what it is. Um, Texas and Oklahoma has joined the SEC. That will start next year. As you guys know, it's a battle between ESPN and Fox trying to capitalize on the best teams in college football to make these mega conference. So what are you guys' thoughts on Miami possibly going to the Big Ten? The Big Ten. Would it make sense? Or are you guys still stuck on the fact that we should probably go to the SEC? Let me know down in the comment section. Hey, yo, it's your boy, the 12th man. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. All that. Canes all day, baby. Now, a former Miami Hurricane DB's coach, um, Banda, Banda. Banda went over to um, Utah State. You know, we saw him, you know, thrive a little, he even moved Gervin Hall when Gervin Hall had that issue at Miami. Took him over to, um, you know, Utah with him. Um, well, he's getting a promotion, guys. He's going up in life, up in life. Yes, Banda will be joining the Cleveland Brown staff. Yes, from college to NFL. So congratulations to Congratulations to former Miami Hurricanes DB coach, Banda. Also guys, while we're actually in the actual video, let me update myself. Take the name T. Martin away from the list of guys that I mentioned that could possibly, you know, be the wide receivers coach. From what I'm hearing and reports has came in that T. Martin will be taking a job in the NFL as a quarterback's coach. So good luck to him. And, you know, another candidate that could possibly replace him would be um keith williams keith williams so keep that name in mind keith williams now i will not go into extended um details about any of these um candidates because they are candidates and 
if they do get some smoke or you know some buzz around their name then i will mention then i will come and give you guys a little bit more background on them but as of right now i don't want to give you guys information on 20 different guys because we'll only hire one all right guys and to round this video up basically the Miami Hurricane basketball, yes, I say this for last because I know a lot of you guys are not pretty pretty interested in basketball, but for those who are, the Miami Hurricanes right now, they're ranked number 11 in the country, possibly could go up, but they control their own destiny for the ACC championship. ACC championship, yes, um, the team that basically performed the best in the ACC. Miami right now is listed as number one. They do have two more games left, which is Virginia Tech, which is this Saturday, by the way, and then they'll play Pitt. Pitt would be the final game. Now, if Miami were to beat Pitt, or if Pitt, if Pitt were to lose another game and Miami were to beat them, then Miami outright will win the ACC. Now, all Miami has to do basically is just win out, win out. If they win out their schedule, they'll be fine. The only, only issue that Miami has is Pitt. So if Pitt beat Miami, that probably would derail our chances unless Pitt loses another game.